Welcome back to my channel. I'm Brittany. If you guys are new here, what's up? I recently did a grocery store shop. I'm fully stocked and I was like, you know, what would be so fun to do is film a what I eat in a day. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to have the oats. I'm going to have some fruit and then I'm going to have this egg veggie scramble. So good. So let's go to the kitchen and let's whip this up. Okay. I'm just so bummed because I just threw out the box yesterday for the oatmeal that I get, but I'll pop up with a picture here. If you're trying to look for it, it is frozen and it is so good for the steel cut oats it's literally just like oats a tiny bit of like maple syrup and salt it is so simple for ingredients and it comes in these little frozen packets you just cut them open yeah oh my gosh i am drooling i'm so excited i you guys if you know i love oatmeal i don't know why but the other oatmeal just hasn't been hitting for me and then i was like let me try these steel cut oats again it's been a while like my grandparents used to always get these so when i go to their house they lived kind of by where i went to college i would have these and i'd be like what the heck these are actually so good so you just pop them in a bowl Ta -da! you could make steel cut oats from scratch but it just takes so long and then i literally microwave it for two minutes stir and then do another like minute maybe minute and a half even though i'm not working out in the morning i'm actually doing a nighttime workout today since i've been able to work out with darian recently he can't work out till the evening and it is something that has been so fun and exciting to look forward to every day to work out together that is something that we used to do all the time but since crna school is literally insane that has not been able to happen also it's crna appreciation week so each day i want to get him a little gift and he always loses water bottles so probably two of the five gifts are going to be water bottles but i ordered one and i'm going to pick it up today to give to him just like a little appreciation do like small thoughtful gifts or just even letters like i'll probably be writing like a letter one of the days but because of his schedule we work out in the evenings and i've actually been really liking it it's been fun to like mix up and do something new especially because it is so cold and just like a frozen tundra the most motivation is so low i don't know if you're the same but in the winter i'm like i just don't want to go out i don't want to but i was gonna say sorry it's such a long tangent i love youtube because i can do these tangents i was saying because it's a nighttime workout my eating is actually the same like i would have oatmeal and eggs in the morning before a workout and i'm just i'm so excited for breakfast you guys everything sounds so good finish If you're like me and spinach is not your favorite thing, definitely chop it up. It makes eating it so much better. That way you're not getting like a huge leaf in your mouth. It's just like small sprinklings throughout. Gotta grab my pen. I feel like we all have like the special egg pan. The egg pan. I was actually just gifted a set by Hexclad. These are such nice pans. I'm gonna let that warm up. For spray inside the pan, I always use this. This is really good. Darian actually just got this. A little spray in the pan. Oh. Okay, luckily I have another one. You wonder? Yeah, I'll just do that. So with the spinach, I'm also gonna do tomatoes. I love blistered tomatoes and I don't know why, like I get on such a kick for eating a certain meal for so long that sometimes I'm like, oh, I forget how much I love a veggie egg scramble. I've not made these in so long. Coming back from surgery, my nutrition just, obviously I've been struggling. Like I want all the comfort foods as I've been really sad and just quite literally struggling. So now that I'm feeling so much better, I'm like, oh, what's easy ways to add vegetables in? And I'm like, oh, a veggie scramble. Like I used to make these all the time. They're so good and they just make me feel so good because I'm fueling my body with good nutrition. So I've got a nice little hand of grape tomatoes. I'm gonna wash these, chop these in half, and then add this and the spinach into the pan and start getting them cooked down while I whip up the eggs. Oh my gosh. 
I'm so excited. Okay, let's try the veggie scramble. Mm, it's so good. Oh my gosh, a big tip too, when you're cooking, if you ever use fresh herbs, it always makes it so better. Like I sprinkled basil on the top of this at the very end and it is so good, especially with the tomato. Just gosh, it like ties everything in. It's so delicious. Another tip, if you're trying to get even more protein in, use egg whites. So I usually will use one whole egg and then a bunch of egg whites. No, wait, I need water first. Stanley! I have to be so honest with you though. The only reason I have a Stanley is because Gymshark gave it to me at the, oh my gosh, Gymshark Lift Manchester event. I, that was almost a whole year ago. My gosh, that's insane. Okay, here's the oatmeal. I didn't show you. That was close. A steel cut oats. I don't know if you can tell. It's more chunky. I love steel cut oats. It just feels so much heartier. I'm not even gonna lie. There is something about like just wanting to eat the plain oatmeal by itself today. And then I have my fruit on the side. I don't know, this is just so good by itself right now. Wow, this is so good. I have a few bites left and then I have to go to a meeting and I'm trying to post like before the meeting starts. So I'm gonna drink my water and go to my meeting. Bye, see you for a snack or lunch. Okay, so I just got some work and meetings done. It is now lunchtime. I do have leftovers where if there's enough, I might have that, but let's head to the kitchen and see. So there's actually quite a lot of this leftover. It's noodles with a broth and then broccoli and some beef. Oh yeah, that's actually quite a lot. I just need to make a little bit more of the broth. I added a little bit of this miso. I added some of this and a little bit of teriyaki. So this is just broth, noodles, ground beef, seasoned with salt, pepper, garlic salt, a little bit of garlic, shallot, some paprika, and then broccoli that is sauteed. That's what's in here. And then I'm gonna heat it up and add a little bit of cilantro, basil, lime, and a Japanese seasoning to top it off with some sesame seeds. One of the biggest tips when it comes to cooking for yourself, if this is something you're trying to get into, is if you're already gonna cook once, you may as well cook a little extra or double so that that will feed you for another meal. That is something that has changed the game for me. It is so nice to have leftovers from dinner for lunch the next day because lunch is always the hardest meal for me I will usually do like a snack plate or try to do something quick because if I'm in the middle of a work day like I don't want to take too much time sometimes it's just exhausting to cook three meals a day like but I want to eat well so just lunch is so hard so that's another good tip or you can even use those leftovers for dinner the next night it's just like if you're making a big batch of rice double it have it for the next day extra chicken extra turkey extra ground beef like whatever it is I just feel like that helps so much especially if you're new on this journey that's my food. That recipe is quite literally one of the best things on planet Earth. My bowl is very empty and my tummy is so full. Kind of want some more. And I also ended up adding half an avocado to it and it just put it over the top too. It's so good. Okay, I'll see you guys for a snack. Okay, it looks like we have cherry and strawberry. I think I'm gonna go for cherry. What is it with me and spilling in this video? I just spilt again, but. Oh, for the music? Yeah. Here. Yummy yogurt. These are some of my favorite yogurts and they give 15 grams of protein. So another way to help get some protein in. It's now time to get ready for the gym and I am making a small pre-workout snack. Darian's back home and it's so fun to catch up and actually have him home. I cannot reiterate that enough. I'm just, it's just so excited. I missed him so much. So I'm just doing little almond butter, banana rice cakes, and then one with just avocado, salt, and pepper. This was a new snack, my first time trying this, and I love it. This is such a great pre-workout snack. And of course, a can of mandarin oranges. I just love them. Vinny did help me eat some of the mandarin oranges, but we're fueled up and ready to go to the gym. This is the creatine I take. If you ever use bean, code Brits saves you 10% off. Woo! Gym 
at night is always a struggle because we get home and it's like a race to eat dinner, cook dinner, get Vinny bathed, showered, ready for bed, get him fed. And it's just always a chaotic rush. But we're doing honey hot chicken tonight. Got some green beans. Thank goodness I had like a microwavable veggie to have fresh veggies because I was panicking a little bit. I don't have time to like cook something in the oven. And then I've got some rice to make. I wanted to do potatoes, but again, it's literally 7.45 and we have a lot to do, so. That's what we're rolling with tonight. Hello and welcome to my bathroom. The same treacherous background, upward angle that you get every time we chat in the bathroom with nothing but the best lighting. So the workout today was actually really good. I feel like my strength has slowly been getting back to where it once was, which is very exciting. And it just feels incredibly empowering to just feel better. Like when you have not felt healthy or okay for so long, when you finally start to feel better mentally, especially and physically, it just, is such a breath of fresh air and I feel like, I don't know, like I can definitely tell a difference. So I wonder if you guys can tell too. I just feel so much better. Like my mind is so much clearer and everything. So feeling really good, had a fun workout and dinner. We just whipped that up super quick. It is 8.25 now and probably gonna have a couple, like a little small late night snack after I shower. I just like want to shower so badly. I feel just so grimy and gross. So it's, it's gonna be a good shower. Put some self tanner on, do some skincare, and then I'll show you my late night snack. Hopefully I can watch like 20 minutes of a show to wind down. That would just really make my day. Actually, that'd be so nice. <laughs> okay, I feel so good after a shower. Mm -hmm. Love it, I put my tanner on. I always use Loving Tan, you guys. I feel like you know that by now and I just used to mitt. I don't put any on my face though. I never do. I don't put like tanning drops or anything on my face anymore. I might use like a drunk elephant product like this in the morning or Kosas, which is one of my favorites. Love it, but I don't like to use tanning drops anymore. They just used to make me have blackheads like the Isle of Paradise. And honestly, I <laughs> use Oh my gosh, I used them at the Gymshark Lift Manchester event and I put like a pimple patch on. Like I put the tan on all over my face and I put the pimple patch on and like you could have a, I had a clear white patch and then the rest of my face was tan and I was like, this is bad. And I was so embarrassed and like people could tell and were pointing it out. So I was like, I have not used them since. I should probably gift them to somebody because I have like half a bottle left. I should give them to my mom. She loves them too. But I was like, man, such a shame. Ooh, almost shot my snack. So I'm just gonna have a couple of flips. I just like have a little handful. These are so good. I actually like the milk chocolate ones better, but the store has ran out of them for a while. So now I just do the dark chocolate until the milk chocolate come back. But gonna have that, probably watch a little show, relax, unwind, hang out with Darian and have a good rest of the night. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.